สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to be my guest I'm Chola p a n s a n a r u l a Bangkok continues to be the center of crafts trade You'll find different types of arts and crafts that come not only with great design and value but also reflects Thai people's ingenuity and heritage In today's episode we will be speaking with a renowned potter from Thailand whose family has been in the business for 200 years Let's join k u n p o n g p a n c h a y a n i n สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับอาจารย์พงพันธ์ thank you very much for joining the program today your family has been in the pottery business for two centuries now yes. and you are one of the craftsmanship descendants here in Thailand can you share your success story with us please uh, so my family is uh, live in the k o k r e t n o n t h a b u r i right we moved from the 200 years ago from the Mon country is now no have the country right. Move to Thailand, move to Bangladesh right. And my family make the pottery in in there. Move to Thailand and keep the pottery and find the, some land for make the pottery and find the the g o k r e t have the good clay for make the pottery. Pottery the the long time user we make like a big jar like a something in the kitchen right. We made the pottery for not for sales. For chain and after group in Mon together, right? Example Mon in p a t u m Thani, like a, like a make a farmer, yeah. Give the rice chain to the pottery, yeah, together. When we have more uh, sell to Thai people for 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 sell the pottery. When I move to g o k l e t I make the pottery uh, long long time, right? And use the clay so much, right? And sometimes have the Like a, another customer about a Thai, about Chinese, make pottery same, same the, same my family. Mm-hmm. Got have the, sometimes not good, mm-hmm. right? Have the sometimes when when we uh, process in process have the, not hundred percent. When we make the pottery, maybe have broken and not good. The color cannot sell. Right? So the quality is not good enough. Yes, yes, that, something like that. Got uh, chain sometimes chain to make a, like a, uh, another pot. For smaller, right? To go to the my grandmother make the pottery for small one, not big one, right? Make a small one for the souvenir, right? For me, and when I have a born in g o k l e t I uh, live in the my ma my mom, right? The my 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 mom and my dad not don't make the pottery because we make the pottery cannot the not don't reach, right? No. It didn't make uh, enough money at yes, that time. Yes, yes. She changed the go to the teacher, go to the nurse, go to the police. Yeah, don't make the pottery. And me, live in the g o k e t right? See my grandmother make the pottery. Okay. Sometimes the first thing I I start the pottery in the my own uh, 12, right? I 12 years old. Yes, 12 years you, old. You you made your own. Yes, yes. Uh, I work? saw I saw my grandma make the pottery. I take the pottery for decoration about. Yeah, and my grandma said to me, "Oh, you can make it. It's so proud with me, right? <laughs> like I sometimes have the money a little bit from my grandmother, just to make long long time for with the grandmother. And I go to the learning in the college of fine art. I learn about the. The art, right? Uh, drawing, painting, uh, composition, and Thai pattern. When you back to home every day, I make the pottery every day, right? Sometimes I sometimes boring, right? <laughs> make the same same all the time, right? I just to change something. When I have a, when I have see the my product from the my grandma, sometimes. Not expensive, right? Mm-hmm. You know, but so cheap. When we make the pottery, use long time, mm-hmm. one day, two day, sometimes one month. Can take the money from maybe five uh, thousand baht, ten thousand baht. It's not enough for the family, right? I try to change something, and and younger. Sometimes I, I, I would like to the find experience. I go to the, I have to go to the. School for uh, for make the money. I go to the international school for the art technician in the school in the school. And sometimes I show I show the my pottery to the teacher, to the parent something like that for sale. Little bit. When I come back, the 
the, the when I come back home, the my family, oh, you can, you can, you can. So they more. were very surprised with you making more money. Yes, that's yes. because you added in new designs yes, to yes. make it more special, yeah. to make the product like more unique. Yes, yeah, something like that, more unique. Like uh, I use the, uh, I try to develop, mm -hmm. develop the pottery, use the Thai pattern, keep in the in the pottery for more place. Yeah, the first time I think, uh, first time. My pottery of the my grandma, hundred baht per one. When I change the uh, change the shape, change the something for look nice, uh, look more delicate. Change to the price go to the uh, thousand baht. From one hundred baht to thousand baht to one thousand yes. baht. So yeah. obviously you became richer. Yeah. <laughs> so you have that passion in you and the DNA of making yes. pottery yes, you know, from your yeah. family. Yep. So you've been in the industry yourself now for yep. some 30 years. Yes. How do you see the Thai arts and crafts evolving? In Thailand. Uh, in Thailand, comparing with the past? Uh, it's now it's changed, I think it's changed. Uh, some artists want to, uh, want to change the thinking about the, the craft. The long time thinking about craft for show, for keep in the cupboard. Not for use in the in the in the life, right? Uh, is now have the sometimes have the popular the 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 have the hand club. Example like a fabric, like a textile mm -hmm. and jewelry, right? Some artists change yeah, and and me, I make the pottery and I make the jewelry too. Use the use the material from the clay for make the jewelry. Just change everything and now the. The customer and the people, Thai people, uh, uh, like a good customer. Yeah, for some some time, have popular everything, like a, uh, when the tourists coming. I see. So to meet the modern day uh, the lifestyle, yes. one would have to develop their product designs. Yep. And you've done that, yes. and you've seen that it has been well received, yep. not only by Thai customers but by foreigners and tourists yes. as yes. well. Yes. What would you say was the main technique that was handed down from generation to generation from your family mm. that makes your product very popular yes. and uh, unique today? Yeah, very, very special. Some, some people see to my shop and say, it's not a human to make it because very delicate, right? Yeah. Superhuman? Are yes, you a superhuman? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I try to change everything. I go to the another fair, another some province in Thailand, find the inspiration mm -hmm. for make the, my product. Yeah. And find the, another technique. Sometimes I see that another artist use together. When the another another artist make the make a silver. I tried, uh, okay, you can join together. Mm -hmm. Use the silver with the, my pottery for the interesting for the customer that come in. Thai craftsmanship has been widely accepted around the world with its great quality designs and craftsmanship. We'll now take a short break. When we, my guest returns, we'll find out how Ajahn Pong Pan joined success in the Crafts Bangkok Fair. Welcome back, you're watching Be My Guest. The Support Arts and Crafts Center of Thailand has been instrumental in promoting Thai arts and crafts to the world. A fair is held annually, bringing exquisite products from all corners across the country. To get into the exhibition is not an easy job. We're still here with Ajahn Pong Pan, who will tell us how he was able to join the fair. So Ajahn, how did you get yourself into the Crafts Bangkok Fair since 2017? Is yes, that correct? Yes, last year. How did it happen? Uh, last year, I, I get the award from the descendant uh, about the pottery. Uh, good, a good fair and good government for, for help me, right? And uh, exciting the tour coming because uh, some people don't cannot see the my product. Yeah, the my product uh, for uh, different another pottery because I use the uh, my culture, everything in the my product. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah. So you joined the fair in 2017. Yes. This will be uh, the second year yes, second that year. you've joined the fair once yes. again. Now coming into an international trade area like yes. Saxit and the fair itself, mm. what opportunities and challenges? Uh, sometimes I, I sometimes have the question from from the customer, ask me about the technique, ask me ask me about the material, where you find the material. 
where what and ask me about the uh, like uh, how to do this just to explain sometimes the customer teach me about the, the this new new design uh, new gimmick for make uh, another shape another thing for my pottery good thing for customer customer is like a teacher for me <laughs> yeah so they come here they yeah. meet you with yes. a number of questions yes and that in fact inspires you yeah. to create whatever the yeah. customers need yes. to, to to meet the market's demand yes yeah so, right right sometimes have the like a supplier say to me but some uh, take the, my product sell in the that them company it's a good thing sometimes I cannot order right because uh, in my pottery, you can make the one month per one. When you need the, when he, uh, them need the order, it's just to order only. Mm -hmm. You know, have the catalog for, for for choose which one you can, right? So I hear that you actually make only one piece per design. Yeah. Yes. So that's uh, one product in the world. Yes, like a unique one. That looks one. and feel like that. Yes, share everything. Sometimes we make the one month in the my product. Something boring, right? Mm -hmm. It's boring. And sometimes change everything, change the texture, change the, uh, the decoration in the pottery. Yeah. So who are your customers today? Today, like a, uh, like a. Are they mainly Thais or foreigners? Many Thai, many Thai. Some are rich men in Thai. But my product is uh, for kids because the uh, expensive more things. Yeah. And uh, sometimes have the, like a teenage, sometimes like a, uh, a woman like that for kids. I see. Sometimes so, it's like a, a person in the early time, early, no, not working today, is coming to see this. Yeah. What about your competitors? Earlier we spoke, you said uh, one of the main competitors with Thai pottery is Japan. Yes. Yeah. It's changed. Uh, Japan is the, have the, the art, very high quality, uh, and Thai have a very delicate. Different and same, 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 same. The the pottery, and use the time, different time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you did mention that to export Thai uh, pottery, especially if it comes from your company, yeah. it could be a bit difficult because yeah. the product is really fragile. Yes, yes, I agree with that. And it could break along the way before it reaches its destination. <laughs> yeah, sometimes difficult for transport mm -hmm. to the outside the Thailand. But then again, let me ask you about uh, the role that Succeed has played in helping promote uh, your products to the world. Yeah, the Succeed uh, support me about the, the knowledge, how about to make a pottery. Sometimes Succeed take me to the another fair. Mm -hmm. The last time take me to the London for the to the like a uh, World Travel Mart 2017 uh, for showcase like for the gimmick like a. Uh, uh, open to the niche for sure the foreigner for the in the world look at this oh so some the customers wow what cannot see in thailand so they're very amazed when yes. they saw your products yes 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 for sure in and the, i believe that you actually came up with a new brand yes new, new uh, brand. just recently yeah just, when they come back to thailand and chance to train to the the, the last brand i bought ban din mon right and they change to new brand the pan Chenin. It's my name, it's mm -hmm. uh, surname and first name together to Panchanin. 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 So now when you go to international affairs, yeah. your products will carry the name Panchanin. Panchanin, yes. Sir. In London, how was the product, um, I mean, it was well received yeah. by your customers, as you said. What about the orders that you received? Uh, Were there a lot of orders that came in, you know, perhaps sometime, creating uh, new opportunities? Uh, last last fair, I go to showcase, right? Not sell, right? Oh, sell a little bit, not sell. Showcase, and have many per many person come to see me. Oh, I would like to go to Thailand. Come to see you in your place. Yeah, mm -hmm. I send to name card for in my my place in the Ban Din Mon The the customer and the tourists coming in the that fair. Come, okay, I would like to Thailand to promote the Thailand too. Yes, that's good news. Yeah. Now, recognitions are handed by Saksit to uh, people here in Thailand. Yeah. Yourself, you have received the Craftsmanship Descendants uh, of Pottery 2018 yes. and that there are Master of Artisans as well. Now, awardees of such prestigious uh, awards as mentioned, has this helped generate more uh, business for you, mm -hmm. uh, for international buyers or even local buyers? 
sometimes local buyer buyer first, right? And I would like to the international buyer, right? Try to make it just to change to the not same uh, pottery. I made the uh, another product like uh, jewelry and everything material from clay. Yeah. I change to the pottery, in the, to the jewelry, and change to the uh, perfume clay. Perfume clay? Yeah, perfume clay. What is, is it a, like? Perf- perfume clay is a clay, right? For you can spray the perfume in the clay. The clay absorb the moisture inside and come out. You can put smell in the room. You can put my product in the room, restroom, uh, everything in in the house. Yeah. Oh, so that's a new innovation. I yes. haven't heard about it before. Yes. Very yes. interesting indeed. Yes. As for Crafts Bangkok 2018, it is organized under the concept of Social Craft Network. Let's talk a bit about network. Did it actually increase uh, your business network? Yeah. And in what ways? Uh, I have a. Uh, opportunity with the uh, another artist when we have a uh, talk about together sometimes have the have the group one group for change the experience change the technique change the material for keep together sometimes have the like a uh, uh, another country come to see my booth right let see about this contact we, we have the contact together for make a new one mm-hmm. sometimes new in the world yeah so that's a great opportunity. Yes, it does, yes. in fact, increase the network. We'll yeah. now take another short break. Don't go away. Be my guest. We'll return with more details. Stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching Be My Guest. Crafts Fair Bangkok 2018 brought about innovative arts and crafts products from more than 300 business operators, drawing huge crowds uh, to the event itself. And one of the factors that made the fair very much successful is the notion that arts and crafts have become parts uh, of our daily lives. So let me ask Atan Pongpan, what do you think about this, uh, this, this notion, this idea? Is, is it true? Yes, I think true because uh, uh, it's now the Tourists or Thai people interesting more than last time. Interesting the handcraft more than last time because like a, about like a price, about the designs, uh, the prices you can touch, can buy it. The last time the uh, the price is very high, mm-hmm. right? Because of long long time for made the pot, the made the handcraft, yeah. And now the artists try to change uh, process, keep the process for. Not high price, yeah. For everybody, for can keep in the in in that, yes. So it's much more accessible, yes, and it's more affordable. Yes, you don't have to be, um, you know, older yes. with money yeah, to actually money. Uh, appreciate art yeah. to have uh, great pieces yeah. and masterpieces Just for, show only. for decoration. Yeah, but for it can be anybody. Can yeah. be anybody now. Yes, yeah. interesting indeed. Yeah. Let me get back to some of your special collections which are being showcased at the Crafts Bangkok 2018. Yep. You did mention the perfume clay, yes. which I'm very much interested to learn yep. more about this. Yeah. Uh, so tell us more about the perfume clay, which is one of your new innovations, and the other products being displayed at the fair. The jewelry. I make a jewelry for this, this, this fair. I change to my jewelry to the, uh, another designs. I use the clay from uh, from uh, for the material the clay I paint the Thai pattern in gold on the pottery key for the pendant and I use the I use the another uh, material like a brass mm-hmm. uh, for necklace earring something like that so from clay you can actually turn it into jewelry yes when the customers saw this yes. uh, innovative design the whole product design. Yeah. What was their response? Because yeah. when you say like clay into a necklace, I'm like, wow. Yes. How can that be? Yeah. So was that the general response from your clients? Sometimes it's not as ex- expensive, not expensive, mm-hmm. and you can use every day. It's yeah. not expensive, but it's like wow, so innovative. Mm, yes, and uh, I change to the design for I put in a yeah, new design and use the. Uh, the old culture mm-hmm. to keep together for uh, another product. So that's the jewelry. Yeah. And then uh, you also mentioned about the perfume clay. Perfume clay, yes. Does it matter where the clay comes from? Uh, the clay, the last time I used the clay from the goglet, 
นนทบุรี Is that the best place to get the clay? Yes, g o g l e t Okay. Yeah. It's a good clay for the terracotta clay. Yeah, and now we change place for the clay. I go to the Atum Thani. Yeah, for 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 take the clay. It's the same quality. You can we can use this. Mm -hmm. So how big is this clay when you make it into perfume clay with aroma? Is that uh, a big piece? Not not big. Yeah. We, Sometimes I, when we use the perfume clay, put on the table and on the oily clay, it's not nice. I made the perfume clay change to the like a flower. Yeah, made the flower like yeah, made from the from the clay, mm -hmm. from perfume spray the perfume inside. You can put around. Not not happen. Not not happen. Yeah, soft. Yeah. And you said that the product actually lasts forever. Yeah. You buy it one time, and you can keep it forever. It doesn't. It doesn't break. Yes, you can not uh, not attach. If you can not attach to something, not falling down, you can put on the table and long, long time. Maybe oh. go to the 100 year. It can last for 100 years yes. as long as you don't drop it and yes. it breaks. Yes, yes. Yeah, so like that. that's I mean amazing, you know. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so from perfume clay and the jewelry, yep. are there any other collections you'd like to mention? Uh, no, no, that's okay. Not not. <laughs> to do more, no more time. Yeah. yeah, maybe next year. Yeah, next year I come back again and for the new thing, new designs. Yeah, new product. You said you don't have time because everything is handmade. Yes. So, the products under Pong Chanin brand, Pan Chanin. a Pan Chanin brand, yes. is made by you. Yeah. And your beloved, your wife. Yeah, my so wife. So just the two of you creating yeah, unique two. products. Sometimes I have the student for learning my my technique. And use a long, long time. Sometimes students the, the boring. And now I open my house to the like a workshop area. Mm -hmm. I open the studio, studio at the at the Gauklet. Some tourists, some uh, uh, student coming for workshop with me. Yeah. So that's how you transfer your knowledge and wisdom yep. to those who are interested in, yes. including your seven-year-old. Yes, yes, my <laughs> son. Yeah, he very interesting. Yeah. And I just to look only, don't teach him, because sometimes he, I don't know, long time for when you uh, grow up uh, in the ten year, twenty year, I don't, I don't know, he don't want to mm -hmm. my 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 pottery, just to a little bit slowly. Okay. So you want him to sort of uh, find his true passion? Yes, yes. Is definitely. he really into pottery like you? Yes, too. And perhaps carry on the business? Yes. For the sixth generation? Yes. <laughs> I would like to. I, yeah, I think this. Yes. I hope you'd see that. Yep. And uh, let's talk about some of the trends that you're seeing, you know, trends that we might find uh, for pottery in, in the near future. In the future, I can. Uh, okay, I keep for the. Heritage from my family, my sons, and next time I would like to the open the fair in the international fair around the world. Yeah, I come to see the, the another customer. Not uh, sometimes in Thai. I and now I would like to the in Thai. It's popular in Thai. Some person cannot see my product. Right, I I, I go to Thai first, and next time I go to the international fair. Mm -hmm. maybe. So this is the opportunity that you see that you yep. can grow your business mm -hmm. at the international arena. Yeah. You went to a fair in London, yep. and uh, perhaps you'll be traveling to another fair yes, in right. Asia, in Hong Kong. You mentioned yes, maybe next month. So next, next month, month you'll be like preparing everything, yes. your collections, your jewelry, your pottery yes. to showcase. Yes, showcase, showcase and trade, mm -hmm. yeah, and trade a little bit, not not take too much. I think I would like to the customers to all order only yeah, mm. and come to Thailand. I Maybe. see. Yeah. So, what are your expectations? You know, looking into the future, do you plan to see more export destinations? Yes. Yeah, I I would like. To. Um. Sometimes I find a uh, another customer for export, then I have the problem with my product because the clay when you transport have the problem something, and and I think next time I can think of how to packing. Uh, the packing the product, my product, for carry on to the some mm -hmm. some some place. Yeah. So if you were able to find that way yeah. to make the product intact yes. as you deliver to your clients, uh, what markets do you want to penetrate into? I'm I'm glad to like a 
go to Japan. Japan? Yeah, Japan is number one. I would like to because the same same culture, yeah, same art. We think art together, same. And next step, maybe go to the Europe, mm -hmm. yeah, Europe something. Yeah. All right. Well, I believe that Saxe will help you grow. Yes. And all the best, Tan. Thank you very yes. much for joining the program today. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thai arts and crafts remain hugely popular among both local and international markets. The intricate designs, meticulous production and creativity are key to Thailand's success in this industry. And that's it for today's edition. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Chola Pansan Rula. See you next time on Be My Guest. Sadi Kha.